Hello, Penny Candy readers. My name is Diane Worthy, and I am the author of a forthcoming Penny Candy book called In One Ear and Out the Other, Antonia Brico and Her Amazingly Musical Life. Uh, the book will be released in October 2020. I'm super excited. And um, this is a picture of Antonia Brico, and she was the first woman to conduct the New York Philharmonic. And this book celebrates her journey and her life. And I am so thrilled uh, that it will be released soon. Uh, the book is a second in a series. The first book in the series of Amazing Women by Penny Candy is this book, which is Hetty and Her Amazing Invention. And In One Ear and Out the Other will be illustrated by the same amazing illustrator, Morgana Wallace. So super excited and I'm not gonna let COVID-19 get me down today. I am making batons, uh, conducting batons, because when this book comes out, we're going to celebrate it by having kids conduct various orchestras um, uh, in concerts. So I'm super excited and I wanna show you how to make a baton. And I also wanna show you a simple pattern and then we're gonna conduct to some lively music and hopefully give you a little bit of positive energy to your day. Okay, so um, the first thing is, honestly, almost anything works to conduct. Um, you don't have to make something fancy. You could even use a piece of spaghetti from your cupboard <laughs> if you wanted to. That works uh, for kids. Um, you could use a magic wand. That's really fun. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm making batons out of um, dowels. And um, you can order these online or you can get them at any craft store and they're just they're just 12 inch dowels and they're very smooth. And the important thing is to make sure that they don't have a pointy end. You wanna make sure that they're safe for kids. So never conduct with anything that's pointy because you know we don't want anyone poking their themselves <laughs> in the eyes or something. Um, so anyway, um, what I do is I just take a dowel and then I think for kids it's fun to have something colorful. So I take this washi tape, which is very thin craft tape. And uh, the thicker washi tape didn't seem to work for me. So I just use this thin tape and then let's see if I can there we go. Okay, so then I get it at an angle so that it can kind of start to wrap around the dowel. And basically, I just, uh, it's kind of fun. You just wrap it around and you go down as far as you want to go. You could mix different colors in there of tape if you want to. You could do half tape, half plain dowel, whatever you want. And so anyway, you wrap it as far as you want to go and then you just pull it off and that's it. So there you have your decoration and then you can take a cork. Um, I ordered these corks from uh, just a supply place online and they were easier to find, uh, just craft corks. And uh, you drill a hole in the bottom about three fourths of the way down or so, and then you just stick it in and there you go. There's your baton. So this is a professional baton that I have here, but you see how it kind of, you know, mimics a professional baton a little bit anyway. So um, that's one way. Um, you can also take, um, this is a recycled wine cork. So um, don't throw them away, use them to make conducting batons. And um, same thing, just drill a hole and then stick it in. If you wanted to secure it with a little bit of um, hot glue at the end, I suppose you could do that. I haven't tried that yet, but um, it's pretty snug. I can't really get it out very easily, um, just like this. So there's our baton. Um, by the way, professional conducting batons are never colored, they're white like this, so that the orchestra can always see it. But for kids, I think it's fun to, you know, do it, make it into a little craft project. So there's that. 
Um, I'm just going to show you. Yeah, so I've made them all, all different colors. So have fun with that. Okay, now, um, once you have your baton, you will learn how to conduct. I'm going to start, I'm just going to show you one simple pattern in this video. Um, and it's really easy. It's the two pattern. And so um, you're going to hold the baton in your right hand. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come up tall here. And you could try tracing this with me if you have something like a piece of spaghetti <laughs> right now. Um, and you just come down and back up and down and back up. Now, when you get down to about here on the, on the arc, that's where you should feel the first beat. So I want you to think of your heartbeat. So this is like a one, two, one, two. And really, that's all there is to it. The other hand does fancier things we're not going to do today, uh, but we're just going to conduct in two. Okay, so I'm going to get some music on here now. And um, this is from, this is uh, written by Georges Bizet, a uh, French composer, and he wrote the opera Carmen. And we're going to conduct um, one of the pieces from uh, that opera, which is called Les Toreadors and it means the bullfighters. So it's very upbeat and I hope it, it, it gives you a happy feeling today as we're all homebound. Um, so get your piece of spaghetti, get your baton, whatever. We're gonna come up tall and I'm gonna turn to the side and I think I'm gonna use, not the white one, but I'm gonna use something colorful so you can actually see it maybe a little bit better. Okay, and my assistant over here is going to turn on the music and here we go. Just have fun with it. And you can use this hand too if you wanted to. And then you, I should teach you this. This means cut off. <laughs> so if you want to stop the group, you cut them off. So that's just a little taste of conducting, and I hope you have fun with this craft project while we're all kind of stuck indoors. Um, look online, and um, there's lots of resources to teach kids how to conduct. Um, you can find, there's a company called Music in Motion, um, and you can look for them, or there's many others, um, and you can um, find other patterns other than the two four pattern but um, find some music put it on it doesn't have to be classical music it can be any kind of music and just have fun and i hope to meet all of you um, or some of you very soon um, when my book comes out in one ear and out the other and um, stay strong thinking of you and virtual hugs bye bye